right, hey, on today's episode, we're going to talk about the Scottsdale SS. Bubba built it. All right, so um, we were at SEMA, and this was uh, 2015, 16, 15, 16. I don't know. I, uh, yeah. It all runs together. You're but right. uh, that was when this whole mall crawler giant lifted truck thing started blowing up, and, and they were just everywhere. And it was almost like uh, a uniform that they had all had on. Uh, with the overblown, you know, uh, yeah, well, one arms year, and the... Yeah, one year it was a bunch of nice, awesome cars. Yeah. And then the next year... Everything was wall-to-wall. -wall. Everything was wall-to-wall. -wall, lifted trucks with these monstrous trailing arms, 26 white inch wheels, and yeah. yeah, I mean, okay. So, and that's cool. We're not hating on that, but it no. was just everywhere. And uh, so we were like, you know, for, for next year for SEMA, let's do something that would kind of be different. And so we said, let's build a wide-body muscle truck. And there's a lot of great practical reasons, not just for the standout reason. Um, so, like the, this truck, for example, um, you know, you got your, you got a lot of the elements that uh, that you want in a muscle car. Yes, absolutely. You've got the power. You've got a V8. Rear wheel drive. I mean, practicality. Yeah. But but rugged, good looks. And uh, this this particular body style of the Chevy was just a great. We we think we think it's a really was a home run. And so we. We went out and bought a blackout edition. Uh, you can, can see it's a work truck. It's it was, a work truck. It, even was. that was nicely appointed, you know. So we were like, that would be a great, uh, that would be a great platform. Platform, yeah. We wanted to start off with a black one, and we actually had to order it. We had yeah. a special order that truck. Yeah. Well, it was also hard to get a V8 with the yes. short, with the short bed, single yeah, cab. Yeah, single cab. And so the the goal at the beginning was to actually do a Bandit edition. Oh, we course. love Bandit. I mean, yeah. I mean, and who doesn't? And, and it's been done, now that now we've seen a couple that have been done. But yeah. it was a great idea, and I yeah. almost sometimes wish we'd done that. But we took some good advice from our friend Murray Path, who said a black vehicle doesn't photograph well. And so we're like, okay, well. Uh, then let's kind of capitalize on the old square body thing. Yeah, and so the Scottsdale SS, we've got the uh, uh, one of our old projects called the Old Man Truck. Yeah, it's a 79 square body and a beautiful, you know, a Silverado truck. And so, we, you know, we uh, we told Murray, and said, let's, we, we actually worked with Murray on this wide body, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, one of the other things that he helped us with was the paint uh, job, and we wanted to kind of emulate that old Scottsdale two-tone look. So we literally measured the vertical height of the Scottsdale two-tone, yep. and we, we, we incorporated that here. I think it was 16 and a half inches or 17 inches, something Yeah, like that. right, right. And Murray helped us, like, like Michael was saying, come through the uh, different color choices, and uh, we ended up settling on this blue and white. We, we went through, I mean, several renditions yeah, we did. of different and, color and I think we choices. Have, we had pictures yes. of those that Murray had yeah. done renderings for us. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so it... Um, so back to the reason why we chose this and why we did it. So the wide, first of all, the wide body uh, gives you this muscular stance that nothing else is going to achieve. Oh. Yeah, I mean, this thing, uh, it's like eight inches wider than stock as far as the track width. But uh, a lot of times when you do some kind of wide body vehicle, anything, then the, the wheels and tires are going to cost you cubic dollars. And we didn't want that. Uh, we wanted to make something that would be a, a practical kit. And as a matter of fact, we do still have seven or eight of these kits left if somebody wanted to buy one to That's make right. one, of, one of their own. But, but anyway, um, that, that never came to fruition as far as mass production. But it's based around putting a basically a, road, a wheel that's used for off-road. And that's a 12-inch wide wheel, negative 44 offset, and, um, and a 20 or a 22. And there are so many wheel choices out there, and they're not that expensive. Like, you can get a set of 12-inch, negative 44, 20-inch hoops for... I mean, uh, the whole set, you can be less than a grand for wheels. Yeah. And so it makes it an affordable choice. Yeah, we wanted something that was readily available. And part of this idea was, hey, whenever you're a kid and you're in your mid-20s, insurance is expensive. You go and buy a Camaro. <laughs> Under 25, it's almost impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, you're going to spend more, almost as much as the car payment as you would on insurance. Which well, is first of all, place. the Camaros, let's not kid ourselves, they are stupid expensive right off the bat. Yeah. And so we were like, well, what if about a work truck or a uh, you know a single cab uh, muscle truck and it also we, we did design it to where it would fit the quad cab as well yeah but we'll get into a little bit that later but as Michael was pointing out your insurance payments on a Camaro at 23 24 years old it's through the roof it matches your car payment so the idea was let's get something that's an affordable muscle vehicle a modern day muscle vehicle and so that's what we came up with. Yeah, truck is the best platform. And uh, so then we were like, okay, so besides the wide body, besides the, the steamroller wheel and tire package, what else can we do to this thing? Uh, and, and the, you know, exhaust is one of the things that uh, that's a huge, uh, 
it's a huge thing on on vehicle and and we love side pipes and we think they should make a comeback in a yes. big way yes, and so we should. this is our first foray into the side pipe thing but uh and since then we've actually gotten better at it i think but uh, yeah this is our first one and uh, the side pipes really did something pretty awesome with the with the truck again from a muscle truck standpoint yeah absolutely and hey one of the other cool things about this kit it was a patriot kit again, yeah right? it was yeah patriot kit uh, and again, I think we've discussed this in one of our other videos, but the Patriot kit uh, heat shield is, is a, it's, it's chrome, but it's cheaply plated. And of course, that's, chrome is a difficult proposition in today's environment. Yeah. Long story short, we, of course, made our own heat shield on there, and we'll show you some videos of, of things about that, or pictures at least, of how we did that. Uh, and another cool thing about this is we did not have to take the cats out at all. We were yeah. able to start right behind the cats. <laughs> well, that and check engine light friendly as well. Well, right. But now from that standpoint, now that gets us to the other engine mods. This thing needed a supercharger. So we got with our friends at Magnuson and put the Magnuson set up on there. And I got to say, this thing ups the giggle factor like to a factor of 10. <laughs> it's it, it woke, I mean, it's it, a whole different It machine. really woke it up. And, and the cool thing is it's subtle enough that you don't realize it until, until you, you really get tow, on it. Tow, well, you don't have to really, yeah. It's just tow in the throttle and it's right. like, whoa, this is doing more than I expected. It well, to. also that and whenever you get out of it and you drive one of the regular uh, V8 trucks, you're mm -hmm. like, oh, wow, yes, I can tell where that supercharger comes in. All right. Yes, sir. Hey, so one of the things we were thinking about, if we're going to talk about a Magnuson supercharger, we should probably show you the Magnuson supercharger. So come on in, take a look at this thing. Uh, we didn't actually put this on ourselves. We had uh, our friend John at Ozan Speed Shop, Speed and Passive Shop, mm -hmm. uh, put this on for us. And one of the things that they were talking about whenever they did this, how easy and complete the instructions were. They were just super stoked at how they uh, said that every nut and bolt was there, and uh, it was one of the best kits they'd seen. So yeah, Magnuson is top notch when it comes to uh, not only the instructions, but the uh, the equipment, the hardware, and uh, and having everything uh, where it was easy, easy to do. Um, and this was, let's also put this in perspective, this was a brand new truck at the time um, from the standpoint of, this was one of the first ones that ever got this kit. So it was a brand new kit. It wasn't something they had in development for a couple of years, three years or so. Um, so we were one of the first people to get this and um, and it's just an impressive uh, it was an impressive kit it, So not only from the standpoint of installation, but the seat of the pants Yeah, and then drivability again. You just can't say enough about the drivability of it. You want to go to the grocery store You're good. Yeah. You want to haul something up to Detroit from Alabama. You're good Yeah, so that's why another reason we chose this instead of some crazy turbo or something like that because uh, this is extremely practical for day-to-day -day use. So not only does it match, uh, you know, as far as the performance in, but just the truck itself. So this whole package ended up being a great, uh, a great tool for us. We used it. We drove, we've got 50 something thousand miles on this yeah. and every one of them were pretty much work miles. Um, we towed trailers all over the country with it. Yep. We, uh, we did burnouts with it. We did, we did uh, charity track events with it. Yes. And, and that, that gets me to another thing, right? So the, this looks like it's really lowered. And when you back up and see the, the truck and the profile and all, and it, it really looks like it's 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 a low truck, but it's not um, because the, that's kind of the magic of the kit that we that we produced. So with, one of the things with these Silverados was they, they intended, or their main market, I guess, was four wheel drive, right? Yeah. So these wheel wheels were really huge and really overly huge. As well as one of the things our kit did is we, we emulated the shape of the original wheel well. We brought it down and closed in those wheel openings so it visually lowered the truck, but the truck is not really all that low. And again, from a practicality standpoint, that's really important. So as far as how we lowered it, all we did was do spindles in the front and shackles in the rear and took one, the little spacer, if, you, if you're familiar with the silver rod, you know there's that yeah. spacer. And the only other mod we had to do is because of the steamroller wheels and tires, we did have to take that pinch weld on the front edge of the cab and bend it over, which yeah. any of you guys well, have ever done a lifted truck, you know that was also a thing that you did on those. But, yeah. Yeah, the practicality standpoint of this thing from the truck is really good. And another one of the things that we want to talk about is Truck Hero was one of our was one of our uh, partners on this thing. And uh, this really great um, uh, hard cover. It's a folding hard cover. Um, it is made by um, Backflip. And uh, this was really one of the things that made the truck so nice. It's like having a giant truck, but you can just in a few seconds flip this thing and fold it up and, way up and go grab a motorcycle, which we did a few times as well. Yeah, and then our also, come on around here, here, our good friends at EGR 
they uh, hooked us up with this awesome rear spoiler. Yeah, so uh, we're like, why why reinvent the wheel? Um, we already we we did the uh, the body kit, but this this was already out there. It was a great uh, addition to that cab. And if you're familiar with these trucks, then you know that the cab itself goes all the way back to 2007, I believe. Yeah. And so some of that roundness it needed to be kind of be crisp. It needed a little bit of crisping uh, in the styling, and that's that that little cab spoiler does a great job at that. Yeah, and installation's very easy. They've got some 3M peel and stick. Yeah, literally stuck in place. I mean, it's, it doesn't get, it doesn't get any than easier that. than no, that. No. Absolutely not. Um, From the standpoint of easy, though, let's talk about this body kit again. Because yeah. we also engineered this to be extremely easy. As you see, it's a bolt-on kit. Uh, and so, literally, after these pieces are painted, and any body shop can paint these, in about, uh, I don't know, uh, six hours, I would say, is a good estimation. You can install this entire kit. And... Uh, yeah, we're, in your garage, and, and we tested and that, that ourselves. We, did. we we went and and had uh, we bought a a quad cab uh, Silverado uh, red, mm -hmm. and we, we pictures of that. I think. Yes, and we we, we had the uh, the kit sprayed, and then we installed it ourselves. And I got to say that went very smoothly. No, it it, it, yeah. it really it was indicative of how I, I'm not I'm not <laughs> I'm not tooting our horn here, but we really did think it out well. And also the way the the fenders orient. If you're familiar with these trucks, you know there's already a groove around the fender, yeah. and the fender just literally just indexed right onto that. So it was yeah. a great way. Now speaking of spraying, uh, this paint job was one of those things that, man, our so our, our friends at Wilson Paint and Body, Jeremy, he just knocked it out of the park. This is a five color paint job, and it might not show up in the pictures, but we did gradient colors of stripes on the bottom here, and then we had the dark line to 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 uh, relegate the two, and then the metallic, uh, and I think I don't remember what what colors we chose as far as what they were off of but they were yeah. factory colors I and mean, he did a fantastic job yeah. we were originally going to just do a wrap which we you know and this again is kind of an outlier for us we generally do our own hand painting with a patina yeah but uh, we and we talked about a wrap and our friend murray like, he loves to ask questions that aren't really questions he's like son you're gonna wrap that are you and then all of a sudden you start rethinking all your life choices should we do that i, I, don't, I don't know, know. should i have worn pants today i'm not sure i mean, uh, but anyway, so he asked us that question. Are you going to wrap it? Are you? Okay. And we're like, yeah, well, no, maybe not. Uh, yeah, what do you suggest? He's like, you should paint it. Yeah, so, so I'm glad we listened to him because yeah. this truck run, won first place in its class at Autorama that year, or yeah. that later that year. 2018. And, yeah, and I was like, wow, that's uh, that's one of our best awards. And yes. So, <laughs> speaking of that also, the truck was in, it was featured in Sport Trucking. Yeah. Power Nation did a, a video on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we had a lot of fun with was, Power Nation. That that was a really cool yeah, deal. Yeah, they're, they're just south of Nashville there. They have a, a fantastic studio and everything. And they they we did some driving shots of the truck. Pulling and, the uh, pulling tarantula, the tarantula right. which was a little bit crazy on the back That was roads. on our way to Autorama That's where right. we won the award. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. anyway, the truck was an award winner. It was a track monster. And I didn't get into that part, right? The no. track. Okay. Yeah. So, we thought, well, we didn't do much to the suspension. We just widened the track width. Yeah. Uh, this thing's probably going to be a PI double gu on the track. And, and when I say track, look, we're, we're not against drag racing, but we're just not drag race guys. We're more of a road course Road guys. course. So there's a charity event they do every year called Addie's, Addie's Racers uh, at the Barber Motorsports Park. Yeah. And it is such a blessing to have a facility like that nearby. But anyway, we got that thing out there. And you're, the, the idea is you take uh, children and their families with special needs and uh and give them the experience that they won't forget and so you get out there and you drive it what would what, they tell us uh you know 80 percent i think is the rule of the day 80 percent might be 75 percent with the number i have anyway, yeah, anyway. We're really some people were going maybe 85 yeah i don't know anyway but we got it out there and uh man i was shooting on the back side i know you too oh yeah i had a guy in a in a, in a new uh mustang come to me and say Man, I got tired of seeing that big blue white grill in my <laughs> rearview mirror. Oh man! Anytime we started to close on somebody, immediately the hand went out the window, telling us which side to go on because, you know, they were just they knew we were going to be eating their lunch coming around those curves. Yeah. So, so this thing, it was impressive. Very yes. neutral. Very very good feedback. Didn't the rack push. and pinion steering, right? I mean, I mean, it, it was understeer was not there. It was, it was just, awesome. It's where you wanted to be. But the brakes. Brakes. So this thing is still not light, even though it no. is a short bed, single cab. And so after just doing some 75%, maybe 85% <laughs> laps in this thing, we were cooking the brakes. And that's where we're like, okay, we got to do something about this. Yeah, absolutely. So we got with our friends at Willwood, 
And they suggested, I don't remember what the package was, six piston? Yeah, it's a six piston, 15 inch uh, uh, with, with, a, with a separate aluminum hat, lightweight brake package. And this thing was bananas. It made night and day difference. Yeah. No more fade problems. No. No more cooking the brakes. Yeah, and that was what we were running into. Yes. Coming into some of those hair per hairpin curves to get set up for it, we were just oh. experiencing a little bit of fade on that pedal. And then you could smell it. I mean, yeah. they wouldn't have lasted. If we had done, like, let's, that was just, you know, a, a two or three hour event. But if we... We still have some, we still have the stock brakes in a box somewhere. Yes. If you're looking for a stock brake pack. <laughs> oh, they've only got about 2,000 miles on them. Some of those were a little bit hard, but, yeah, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that, yeah. But anyway, but I yeah, digress. Yeah, right. So, so man, uh, I always, I've always been kind of thinking about the power, thinking about the exhaust, but the brakes. And this is my first soiree into a, in a really nice brake package. And I'll tell you what, it was, it's amazing. It's it one really of the most impressive is. things about it. So as far as the interior is concerned, like we said, these things are pretty well pointed. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the things we didn't do as Murray was like, you need to put a booming sound system. We didn't do that because no. it was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's really good out of the factory. But we did call up Catskin and ordered one of their nice uh, leather kits, uh, custom with some custom piping and custom insert color. And panels. Yeah. yeah, and that really kind of dressed up the interior. As oh, much yeah. As... It really looks nice. It was very, very nicely done. And the only other thing we did was the inserts on the seats. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Right, right, right. We we did uh, our own custom insert on the on the panel itself, and uh, we've been working on that product for quite some time. We actually can take leather and cut out these different shapes, and and of course all the colors that leather is offered in, and you just put it on your leather interior, and then if you get tired of it, removal is easy and does not compromise the seat at all. Yeah, so it's not something that we're actually actively selling right now. But it's a great idea, and yeah. this one has been on here six or seven years, and yeah. without any issues. So it, it's, it, it, I think it's a good idea. We just yeah. haven't, we just haven't gone any further with that. But that was, it was one of the cool things I think that really dressed up the interior. Yes, absolutely. Okay. The other thing that was a big deal with the truck was the wheel and tire package. The wheels we got from uh, American Racing, and that's actually uh, XD. Yeah, uh, the XD wheels. Yeah, the XD wheels, and uh, we don't have them on the truck right now. Because uh, we literally wore the we tires We wore out. the tires completely with, out. With the different things that we were doing. Uh, so these are our mock-up wheels and tires that we used to make the wide-body kit. Yeah. We had them just laying around, so we were like... We bolted those on. That's why they're not on there now. Yeah. The other thing, though, is this... Uh, you see the, of course, no naked tires. This is our... Oh, yeah. This is our bread and butter. This is actually a new kit. Uh, this is a peel and stick. It's one of the final prototypes before we release this. Uh, but uh, it goes on in seconds, and it's still very durable. And so you're going to actually see how durable they are here in a few minutes. But um, yeah, I guess I guess that covers everything. That covers this everything has been a it's been a joy, and that, that gets us to the last part here, uh, which is kind of a farewell send off for this. Yeah, truck. it's uh, kind of a good news. It's bad bittersweet. News. Yes, yeah. bittersweet. Thank you. <laughs> it was oh. a wonderful, great tool. Uh, it did a lot of great things for us, and it's time to let it go. So we're going to yeah. sell it. But this is this is kind of our our farewell send off for the truck but uh, we're going to miss it but uh, on yeah. to new, other things yeah we've got other big projects coming up and i guess we'll talk some about that for next week's video yeah yeah Sounds so good. it's awesome hey thanks so much for appreciate watching it, guys. guys we really appreciate it uh give us some comments likes share the video please it'd be awesome thank you so much thanks a lot bye <laughs> traction control whoops <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, that'll be